Hello Equation Lovers and welcome. This video is the third in a series of four tutorial videos. If you haven't yet watched the first two videos in the series, we invite you to do that now before continuing with this one. In these four videos, we're showing the basics of using MathType and how to work with Word documents. This video in particular deals specifically with Word, but if you're using a different word processing application, it should be easy to adapt most, but not all, of the instructions that follow. Also, instructions for using MathType with other applications are available in the documentation. In this video, we'll see the use of subscripts, superscripts, and summation templates, and the techniques we'll apply here will be useful for any level of math you create with MathType. Let's begin with a new document in Word, and you see we've already added a few lines of text. Select the MathType tab, and from the MathType tab, choose Display Equation. This will open a math type window ready for you to start creating the equation. We want to begin by inserting a lowercase Greek sigma. One way to do this is to choose it from the lowercase Greek letters palette. Alternatively, you could use its keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcuts for toolbar items are displayed in the status bar as you move the mouse pointer over them. In this case, you can press Ctrl G followed by S. One thing to note about MathType's two character shortcuts like this one. Once you press and release the first key or combination of keys, Control G in this case, you have four seconds to type the second key or combination of keys. If you don't, it's as if you never type the first part of the shortcut. Next, create a slot for the superscript on Sigma by clicking the superscript template in the small bar. Subscripts and superscripts are rather small, in order to better see what's happening, make sure you've chosen at least a 200% viewing scale in the Zoom submenu of the View menu. You can see we're using 200% here. The insertion point will be located in the newly created superscript slot. Type the superscript 2. The best way to position the insertion point outside any template slot is to press Tab. If you choose to click the mouse, be careful not to place the mouse pointer too close to the superscript slot or else the insertion point may jump back into it when you click. Type the equal sign. Remember not to type any spaces. Construct the fraction by using the full size fraction template, which is available in the small bar, as well as in the fraction and radical templates palette. Be careful, it's not the same template as the reduced size fraction template we used in tutorial one. The insertion point will be located in the newly created enumerator slot. Type the number 1 into this slot. Press Tab and type N into the denominator. Then press Tab again to move outside the fraction template. Let's insert a summation template. We'll use this one. Since the insertion point is in the slot for the summation argument, we'll continue typing there. We need to place a bar over the second X. To do that, we'll add an embellishment. You'll find those on the embellishments palette. See, here's the one we want, but it's important to understand how to use embellishments. In MathType, embellishments are always applied to the character to the immediate left of the insertion point. You can add several embellishments to the same character if you need to, but you can never force them over more than one character. If we need a bar over two or more characters, We'd use a template for that. Remember, embellishments apply only to the single character to the immediate left of the insertion point. Next, we'll exit the parenthetical expression and apply a superscript. Press Tab to move the insertion point into the lower limit slot of the summation template and type I equals 1. As usual, do not type any spaces. MathType will automatically reduce the size of the text and will center it below the summation sign. In this case, MathType will not insert any spaces around the equal sign since it is in the limit of a summation. Again, this is a standard typesetting convention that you can override if you want to. Press Tab to move to the upper limit of the summation template and type the upper limit in. The equation is now complete. We'll insert the equation into the document and save the document because we're going to use it in the next tutorial. That's it for now. In this video, we've seen the superscripts and subscripts, embellishments, and multi-argument templates like summations. We hope this tutorial has been useful to you. 
Check out the other videos in this playlist. There's a link at the end. Or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you'll always be aware of new content.